for some of the tractor trailers in Run On Less, the trailer stays attached to the tractor at all times. Henry Albert, an owner-operator, he owns both the tractor and the trailer, and they're paired together all the time. For Joel Morrow at Ploger, oftentimes he keeps the same trailer with the same tractor. This helps to be able to optimize the trailer and the tractor together, including gap, aerodynamic devices, etc. But it's really the exception to the rule. Most of the industry use what's called a drop-in hook strategy for most good movement. A tractor and a driver will haul a trailer, they'll end up at their delivery, drop the trailer, pick up another trailer, and head on the road. From a fuel efficiency standpoint, the difference between the same tractor hauling a highly efficient trailer, one with these technologies that we've talked about, versus one that doesn't, can be 10 to 15%. Over the course of a year, that can be $4,000 in fuel cost. One of the things I notice the most when it's not here are these tails. I had to pull a trailer today for about 60 miles that didn't have the tail. And uh, man, you can tell immediately you don't have them. Uh, besides the handling, uh, you probably lose a half mile a gallon easy. So today, I'm going to have a little bit of a dip in fuel economy here. I've got, uh, I don't have the wide base tires on this trailer. I've got the duals. So it's going to affect my fuel mods a little bit. Uh, you get a little bit of turbulence through here. So that's going to uh, decrease my fuel mileage. I don't have the eco flaps. So we're going to... Um, increase some uh, drag there but the big thing we're missing here is uh, the tails the tails are going to be a big loss here and, I, and you're going to see it uh, in my fuel economies today it's going to drop so what we see is possibly and we've seen it with run on less a tractor trailer maybe getting let's say 11 mile per gallon for a while while they're hauling a trailer with all of these technologies and they drop that trailer and hook up to one with none of these technologies and maybe it's an older trailer where the maintenance is poor so it has poor alignment poor tire pressure or other things that could negatively affect the fuel economy 